Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. This week's Fool is Tory MP Andrew Griffith. So Andrew appeared on the Sophie Ridge show where he demonstrated a very poor command of the English language. You see, the Sky News host asked the Conservative to provide her with an adjective to describe the Tories' record on immigration. Unfortunately, Andrew was unable to come up with one, either because he doesn't know what an adjective is, or the only ones that he could come up with would portray his party and government in a very negative light. Have a listen to this. So the question was what adjective would you use to describe the Conservative Party's record on immigration? And, and the adjective I use is that this is a difficult topic. No, that's um, not an adjective. <laughs> what, what, what adjective would you use to describe the Conservative Party's record on immigration? Um, this is a very difficult topic, Sophie. That's a diff- that's um, not, it's, that's well, I'm, I'm not going to give you an adjective. What I'm going to try and do, because what I'm going to try and do you is... you know what, what the adjectives I, are like. What I want to try and do is contextualise. Okay, this you, is a difficult have, challenge that fair. many European countries point. are dealing with. You know point. that, I know that. It's a fair you point. You have now contextualised it. You okay. have now contextualised yeah. it. What adjective would you choose? Uh, well, I'm not, I haven't thought about an adjective, Sophie. Um, what do you want me to give you a couple of minutes or what? I mean... Well, we can take a couple of minutes if you want, but what I'd rather do is talk about both the context, which we've just done, just as you've played back some context, but also talk about the fact that we have a clear plan. You know that now. The Why Rwanda bill is on the statute book. It got there eventually. Question. Well, this is a government that has a clear plan for it. It takes this issue really seriously. It is too high. The government, no ambiguity. The level of immigration is too high. The numbers we... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Could we help Andrew out here? with some adjectives. How about unsuccessful, failing, collapsing, unpromising, no good, washout, bankrupt, hopeless, flunking, ruined, slumping, wrecked, and finally kaput. These are all adjectives we could use to describe the Tories' record on immigration. See, the thing is, he can't come up with something positive. He said, well, successful. He couldn't use successful because, well, it isn't a success because, well, Rishi Sunak painted himself into a corner when it came to immigration, chasing Reform UK, saying, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the boats. Well, what would success look like? Well, for most normal people, success would be the boats stop. But he hasn't succeeded. So he's going into an election claiming that he has stopped the boats, although I don't know if he's still claiming that, but we have to presume that he has stopped the boats, but the boats are still coming. They're actually going to go up as we get closer to the general election. So how would you describe (laughs) a record where you said you were going to stop something and the actual numbers increased? I don't know. Will we go back to our adjectives once again? Can we think of some other ones? See, this is the problem that Tory MPs and ministers or whoever is going on TV to defend the government. They are trying to defend something that is an absolute failure. But they can't say that. They can't say, actually, we failed. Because then the, then people would say, well, then what's the point in voting for you? But he can't say we have succeeded because success is impossible. You can't stop the boats down to zero. Now, Rishi Sunak, of course, was asked about that, and he dodged the question. We're bringing down the numbers, but he's bringing down the numbers if you cherry pick the data as well. If you say, well, if we focus only on last year, the numbers were coming down. But what about this year? Well, they're actually record numbers this year. But he doesn't want to talk about that. Like, how would you, how would you describe a situation where the numbers last year are lower than this year, and you're supposed to be going down <laughs> this year? I don't know what else to say. You know, I feel sorry almost for these MPs. They've been given an impossible situation. Go on TV, defend our record. What is our record? Our record is a failure, but defend it anyway. But don't describe it as a failure. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your your comments are greatly appreciated. And I'll see you next time for our next Fool of the Week.